Hopefully you're the producer. Good evening and welcome to the Catholic community of St. Francis of Assisi here in Raleigh, North Carolina. My name is Trevor Thompson and I'm the director of our Office of Justice and Peace here at St. Francis and I'm here with my colleagues Jim Fiducia and Jim Wall and a couple of our parishioner volunteers uh, to invite you into prayer this evening as part of our evening prayer that we've been doing during this COVID-19 pandemic. We're so glad you're here with us. This evening we have a special themed evening prayer using our format of evening prayer to pray for racial healing in our land. Given all that's going on in our world right now and in our particular country, the U.S. bishops have continued to invite us as Christians to reflect and examine our own hearts for the sin of racism and to better understand how systemic racism is something that is embedded in our policies of this country and how we might continue to bridge the things that divide us as brothers and sisters and as the body of Christ. And so in that spirit tonight, we join in prayer. Invite you to go to our parish website, stfrancisraleigh.org. That's stfrancisraleigh.org, where you can find a copy of our worship aid to follow along. And invite you, if you have someone you're praying with at home, to uh, alternate as we move through the Psalms, perhaps person to person, so that you can uh, join us in this uh, posture of prayer that is a traditional posture of prayer in our church. Also, just be conscious of your own space and uh, silence any electronics you have or any other background noises that might prevent you from really feeling the presence of God and a sense of uh, the peace that we're called to that, that is always present here and now. So, as we silence our hearts, take a few moments just to close our eyes here as we begin. Racism has rightly been called America's original sin, and it remains a blot on our national life and continues to cause acts and at attitudes of hatred, as recent events have made evident. The need to condemn and combat the demonic ideologies of white supremacy, neo-Nazism, and racism has become especially urgent at this time. Our efforts must be constantly led and accompanied by prayer but they must also include concrete action. People of faith call on the divine physician, Jesus Christ, the Lord, to heal the wounds of racism throughout our land. O oh God, come to our assistance. Lord, Lord make, haste make haste to help, to help us. Help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Shall live in peace. We shall live. 
This is what the Lord requires of you, only to do justice and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat weeping when we remembered Zion. On the poplars in its midst, we hung up our harps, for there our captors asked us. For the words of a song, our tormentors for joy, sing for us a song of Zion. But how could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget. May my tongue stick to my palate. If I do not remember you, if I do not exalt Jerusalem beyond all my delights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is what the Lord requires of you, only to do justice, and to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Graciously rescue me, God. Come quickly to help me, Lord. Let those who seek my life be confused and put to shame. Let Let those who desire my ruin turn back in disgrace. Let Let those who say, aha, turn back in their shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Those who long for your help always say, God be glorified. I am miserable and poor. God, God, come come to me quickly. quickly. You are my my help and deliverer. Lord, do not delay. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I will give you a new heart, and a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh, and give you a heart of flesh. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test him and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. They The priest happened to be going down the road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged him. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, 
I will repay you with my own when I come back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. And Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Conscience is the core and sanctuary within us where we are alone with God and hear his call to love good and avoid evil and do this and shun that. Let us examine our conscience in the light of the sin of racism, asking ourselves, have I fully loved God and fully loved my neighbor as myself? Have I caused pain to others by my actions or my words that offended my brother or my sister? Have I done enough to inform myself about the sin of racism, its roots, and its historical and contemporary manifestations? Have I opened my heart to see how unequal access to economic opportunity, jobs, housing, and education on the basis of skin color, race, or ethnicity has denied and continues to deny the equal dignity of others? Is there a root of racism within me that blurs my vision of who my neighbor is? Have I ever witnessed an occasion when someone fell victim to personal, institutional, systemic, or social racism? And did I, and I did, or said nothing, leaving the victim to address their pain alone? Have I ever witnessed an occasion when someone fell victim to personal, institutional, systemic, or social racism with me inflicting the pain, acting opposite of the love of God and love of neighbor? Have I ever lifted up and aided a person who fell victim to personal, institutional, systemic, or social racism and paid a price for extending mercy to the other. How did I react? Did my faith grow? Am I willing to grow even more in faith with my actions? I recognize that racism manifests in my own individual thoughts, attitudes, actions, and inactions. It also manifests in social structures and unjust systems that perpetuate centuries of racial injustice. For my individual actions and my participation in unjust structures, I seek forgiveness and move towards reconciliation. I look into my heart and ask for the will and the strength to help contribute to the healing of racism in my time. To you, O Lord, 
I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Show us the power of your arm, Lord. Put down the proud and exalt the lowly. I will lift my voice. I will raise my hands to the one who is the great I am. My soul proclaims the greatness of his name, and my spirit will rejoice in God my Savior. He has looked upon me in his love, and my name will be forever blessed. For the Lord, who is mighty, has done great things for me. My soul proclaims, holy is his name. I will lift my voice, I will raise my hands to the one who is the great I am. My soul proclaims the greatness of his name. And my spirit will rejoice in God, my Savior. His mercy flows through every generation on those who follow in fear. He has scattered the proud and cast the mighty from their thrones. My spirit will rejoice in God, my Savior. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich are sent away. He has given help to Israel. My soul proclaims the greatness of his name, and my spirit will rejoice in God my Savior, and my spirit will rejoice in God my Savior. Show us the power of your arm, Lord. Put down the proud and exalt the lowly. Christ, our teacher, by your example, you show us how to live. Teach us to live together in peace and solidarity, we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, our life, by your death on the cross, you destroyed the power of evil and death. Shatter the systems that oppress our brothers and sisters, that all may be lifted up. 
we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ our King, you became an outcast among us as you spoke with truth to power. Teach us the humility to the fearless in doing the same, we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ our salvation, you gave yourself up to death out of love for us. Help us to show your love to one another by fiercely proclaiming justice, we pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. For what else shall we pray? Please write your intentions in the comments. For all these intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. We gather and continue our prayer with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. God of heaven and earth, you created the one human family and endowed each person with great dignity. Aid us, we pray, in overcoming the sin of racism Grant us your grace in eliminating this blight from our hearts, our communities, our social and civil institutions. Fill our hearts with love for you and our neighbor so that we may work with you in healing our land from racial injustice. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us all everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm uh, grateful to be here. I'm not always able to make uh, Wednesday prayer, but I'm grateful to join you all and my colleagues here. And thank you, Tim, for helping us live stream this. I look forward to seeing you as we continue our action in the world. May God give you peace.